And with the Reed and Boehner plans falling short, is it time to revisit that bipartisan Gang of Six plan, which President Obama actually endorsed last week? Well, joining us now is a member of the Gang of Six, Senator Mike Crapo, a Republican from Idaho. Senator Crapo, here's the thing. The president endorsed the plan without reading it, but from my point of view, and I'd like you to, be, uh, to share with us, if you feel that somehow the Gang of Six is being used in this process, that no one really takes your plan serious, both sides are cherry-picking items from it that they like, because apparently they had a deal, then they took the Gang of Six $1.5 and the president got a little greedy, and now we're back to square one. Well, I think everybody's looking for scapegoats right now, but the bottom line is that our plan is getting increasing bipartisan support as we move forward. You need to remember, though, that our plan was put forward not as a solution to the debt ceiling problem, but as a solution or a big step in changing our fiscal policy toward the solutions that we need for our debt crisis. And uh, whether our plan becomes a part of the ultimate solution for the debt ceiling battle, uh, I'm confident that it holds the key to the approach that we must take to solve our debt crisis. And once we get past the debt ceiling fight, we will still have a debt crisis that we're going to have to face. Senator Crapo, before we can even talk about the Gang of Six plan, we know that uh, we have two other plans that potentially could be on the table ahead of that first. Does the GOP in the House have the unity to get the Boehner uh, proposal through? Well, we don't know the answer to that yet. Uh, in fact, speculation early today was that they did not have the votes to get it through. Uh, now, as the day has moved on and the speaker has moved the vote to tomorrow to give them more time to get the votes, it is starting to look like from the reports we hear that they are going to have the votes to get it through. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be a close vote, but uh, I believe that uh, Speaker Boehner will ultimately be able to get the votes necessary to pass that plan. This will be the second time then, if that happens, that the House has sent a plan forward that would enable us to move to a, an extension of the debt ceiling with a process to help start dealing with our national debt. Sir, uh, and what I find interesting, and you made the great point, that this once this debt ceiling thing is over with, our problems have just begun. The plan That's that the right. Gang of Six has put together, to me, reignites America's greatness. You're talking about lower taxes. You're talking about uh, not a bunker mentality, but a mentality that will take us forward. What's the opposition to this plan? What, where are you finding? I know you said earlier that you're gaining more bipartisan support, but why hasn't everyone joined in and said, you know what, this is the real deal? Well, part of the reason is because we put everything on the table. We reform the tax code, as you've indicated. It's the most powerful pro-growth approach to our engine of our economy uh, that is out there. But we put everything else on the table as well. And every special interest group in America who does not want to see their part of the current status quo changed is up in arms. And so one of the ways I put it is once we put our plan out, the knives came out and all of the traditional political attacks against change are in full force. Well, speaking of arms and, 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 and force, you're actually saying that this August 2nd deadline is not only a financial uh, issue that we should pay attention to, but also could be a security issue as well. Could you explain that? Yes. As a matter of fact, I believe that the debt crisis we face right now is so, so big and such a danger to our country that it could be, I think it is probably the greatest threat our country has ever faced. But when the chairman of our Joint Chiefs of Staff was asked just a month or two ago what he thought that the greatest national security threat to our nation is, he said it is the, the national debt. You know, he could have mentioned Iran or weapons of mass destruction or the Al-Qaeda terrorism. He said our national debt is the greatest threat to our national security that we face now in America. Senator Crapo, one of the things I know you are a strong proponent of is tax reform. reform. That's something that you're pushing in your Gang of Six proposal. Why is now the time to tackle such a difficult issue when there are so many big issues on the table to deal with in the first place? Well, that's an excellent question because one of the things we are focused on so heavily here in Washington is controlling the unbelievable spending appetite of our government. And that must be done. It must be a major high priority of our approach. But we also must focus on growth. We've got to get our economy moving again and grow it back to the point where the powerful economic engine that we should have in America will be the revenue part of the solution to our debt crisis. You know, just a 1% growth in our economy 
can generate about $2.6 trillion of revenue to pay down the national debt with over a 10-year period. So while you look at these other plans that are talking about $1.2 trillion or $1.8 trillion in cuts, we need that. But we could get $2.6 trillion in revenue just by boosting our economic strength by 1%. That's why we need to focus on tax reform. We need to cut rates. We need to reform, flatten the code, and give a huge shot in the arm to our economy. Senator Crapo, uh, one of the things I think, no matter what happens here, the legacy of Washington, D.C. is going to actually be worse, if that's even possible, because it feels like there's not a lot of leadership on either side. What do you make of the pronouncements that, uh, you know, the market's going to fall apart, we're going to go into a Great Depression, and that we will actually default in seven days, when in fact that's not true? Well, I believe there is a, a tremendous amount of uh, scapegoating going on, and there is also what I call the politics of fear. Those who want to try to force their position into the ultimate uh, winner's box here in Washington, D.C. for what happens are trying to scare people into thinking that they have to make wrong choices in order to move forward. And uh, the use of the politics of fear here is completely out of hand. We are not going to have a default next week. And I'm not saying that uh, it's a, not going to be a huge problem if right. we don't extend the debt ceiling. But what I'm saying is we will still pay the interest on our debt, and we will still service our debt. And, uh, and there will be other problems in, in terms of government spending. But we will not, the United States government will not default. You know, sir, I'm really rooting for the Gang of Six uh, for the proposal and for it not to be used by either side to promote their ideology. But you guys have put together a plan that I think does ignite the economy and the greatness of America. So I thank you, Senator Mike Crapo, and appreciate your time on the show today. Thank you. Thanks a lot.